Catherine. Uh, good morning, Madam Deputy Secretary General, Under Secretary General Kane, uh, colleagues. Uh, a year ago, for the first time in the history of the Secretariat, the Secretary General introduced reforms to treat both headquarters and field staff equally and to become one truly global workforce. With the launching of Inspire today, we are one step closer to making the Secretary General's vision a reality. You may be wondering what this means to you as a staff member, especially staff who serve in field operations. In practical terms, Inspira means further integration of headquarters and the field. Each staff member now has access to the same resources and the same opportunities, whether you are based in New York, Kinshasa, or Kathmandu. We are especially excited for our colleagues and friends in the peacekeeping operations, serving under very difficult, remote, and hardship conditions. Inspira is designed to provide better screening functions and more comprehensive information for managers and human resource officers. This means that we can speed up processing large volumes of applications. It should also help us lower the vacancy rates that we now find in many of our peacekeeping missions and which provide such a barrier to effective mandate implementation. We expect shorter recruitment timelines that will be a big benefit for the organization, the team, and the staff member. This has been a source of great uh, difficulty for the organization for a while, and SPEAR should make a big difference in this. We also have wonderful, untapped resources of talented, experienced, dedicated people in the field who can bring such high value to any UN office. Now so many staff serving in very remote locations don't really have good access to opportunities here at headquarters. And equally important, headquarters does not have good access uh, to those staff and the value they can bring to uh, headquarters and offices away from headquarters. Inspira will change that. It is envisioned that through Inspira, more and more unprecedented opportunities will be available to our personnel in the field. We also welcome the new career portal, which gives both internal and external candidates an opportun opportunity to learn more about the work of the UN and career opportunities all over the world. By reviewing staff member profiles, a candidate can get a much better understanding of the demands and challenges of UN jobs <coughs> excuse me, and uh, what job might be a good fit for them and the skills they bring. In other words, anyone, anywhere in the world, can read other stories on the career portal and determine which professional and private steps he or she has to take to make his or her dream of working for the United Nations come true. This is especially important, again, for those staff members who are serving in remote locations where access to information is oftentimes very difficult. Finally, I would take this opportunity uh, to thank Under Secretary General Kane, Assistant Secretary General Pollard, and the other colleagues whose uh, leadership has been so important to bringing us today to the, uh, where we are with Inspira, as well as the teams behind these leaders who have uh, brought, uh, who have done all the hard work, the good work, to get us to where we are today. It's a historic day in the, uh, for the organization and our human resource efforts and staff members serving in peacekeeping operations, special political missions will be great beneficiaries of this important development. And as we move forward in implementation, Angela and Catherine, you can count on the full support of the Department of Field Support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tony. And now it gives me the honor to invite our Deputy Secretary General, to, who is our guest of honor, to say a few words. And afterwards, I'll invite Ms. Kane to have Ms. The, the Deputy Secretary General open the exhibition and to cut the ribbon. Madam Deputy Secretary General. Dear colleagues, good morning and welcome. Today, as uh, we launch INSPIRA and the United Nations Careers Portal, we reinforce our dedication to investing in our talent. It is the energy of our staff that drives the United Nations each and every single day. Working across the globe as individuals and in teams, you deliver daily on the mandates entrusted to us. You are the lifeblood of the organization. 
you operate in an environment that is truly international and multicultural, which respects as well as promotes diversity and functions at its best through the efforts of teams of diverse people like you. The Careers Portal will change the way we promote career opportunities at the United Nations, the way we show what the organization does, where it works, what we look for in staff, and what we offer as an employer of choice. And we're showcasing the organization through you, our staff. Around you, there are pictures of some of the 150 staff members featured on the new careers portal of the United Nations, some of whom are among us here today. They come from a wide cross-section of locations, offices, job networks, grade levels, and nationalities. They are all bold examples of the diversity within our organization, from human rights officers in Darfur to translators in Geneva to political officers in Freetown. You talk about your journey to and through the United Nations. You provide examples of what a career in the organization may look like. You talk about what drives you every day. Through your stories, we are looking to inspire others. To all of you who were profiled, a note of thanks for showcasing the important work that our team of 40,000 people carry out every day. And to the teams behind the development of Inspira and the Careers Portal, thank you for your unwavering commitment and dedication. You made this happen. And as uh, USG Kane said, it is for real. Thank you.